on set today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Stuart Weitzman Over the Knee Lowland Boots. So before we get started, I want to introduce myself for those who are new to my channel. My name is Karen and I make fashion, beauty, and home and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe below so you can get more videos like reviews on designer items like this one. So um, I'm gonna get started right into the review with sizing first off. So here are the boots. These are the Stuart Weitzman, as I said, Lowland over the knee boots. So the Lowland just means that it is a flat style. They come in Highland, which is like the heel I have, and like they have like a mid length heel as well. So I'll have all these products listed in the description box below. So today I'm just going to be talking about the Lowland style. So let's get started. I have the Lowland style in the black and then in this gray color, it's called slate. Um, so I'm just going to show the slate color right now because it's a little easier to see, but I'm not going to hold them up because it'll be like an arm workout. But I'm going to first talk about sizing. So for the Lowland style, I would definitely say they are true to size. I'm usually a size 8 in most designer shoes, so I went with the 8 and they fit perfectly. So um, definitely I would go with your true size. Now one problem that I always find with over the knee boots and boots in general that have like they're higher up to the knee is that they slouch on me and they sometimes fall down. Not like all the way, but they do slouch a lot more. Um, so it was, I wanted to find a good boot to um, fit that would not like keep sliding down, especially when it's over the knee. It's a pretty long distance and I don't want it all like, you know, slouchy and wrinkled looking. So I bought these and I think they are amazing if you have a slimmer calf. I always, ha I have a very narrow foot and a slim calf. So I definitely think they are perfect for my type. I have seen people who say they have a little bit thicker of a calf and they fit fine too. So it's going to be up to you if you want to try them. But I'm just speaking, if you have like a narrow calf, I can say that they fit amazing and they very small amount of slouchiness to them, um, which is actually fine for me. I don't mind like a little bit of slouch here and there, but they stay up on my above the knee like so well. Um, they don't even budge so I really like that about them okay so next I'm going to talk about comfort in these shoes so basically for me um I always wear like a thicker sock when I wear boots just because in the winter it just like I feel like my feet stay a lot warmer so I by default like to wear a, like a fuzzy kind of sock sometimes like that's just what I like to wear I know it sounds like not that fashion forward but I just like it, it like cushions my foot too and so for me when I wear these boots I will wear a thicker sock and it does kind of fill the shoe area I'm just like with like because I have a very narrow foot so it does fill it up just a little bit of what I need and so for me the comfort level is so amazing I've never had any problems like as far as when I wear the socks like I don't I rarely wear the boots without socks so when I wear them with socks, I don't get any like blisters. I don't have any like rubbing. It just gives a really great amount of comfort. Um, and they're so easy to walk in. Again, they're low and they're flat pretty much to the ground with the exception of like, I'd say this is like three quarters of an inch to an inch heel on the back, as you could see. But um, so nothing is pretty much flat. You don't even feel like that little height difference there in the back. Um, but I just think they are so comfortable. It's super, super soft suede. Um, they, they don't feel like tight in any areas, nothing like that. Comfort wise, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 for these because um, I haven't had any issues. Except one time, a little story here, in New York Fashion Week, I wore these boots and I forgot to pack my socks that I wear with them. And I guess it was like it was really pretty warm the one day and so I guess my foot was like rubbing inside and I'm so used to wearing socks with them that like my foot just rubbed and like I wore them literally almost all day and I did get a few blisters but that was like the only time because I think if you wear socks with it it'll definitely help so a little tip in case you have that issue definitely put socks on so besides that though I have never had an issue I, I wore the heck out of my black ones like I've had my black ones for two years, I've had the gray ones for one year, and the black, um, I've never had an issue with like any kind of like pain with my feet or anything. Like they feel amazing. And just as amazing as when I first bought them as I do now. So I've never had any issues with them. So 
So I want to talk about wear and tear. Um, as I said, I had the black pair for two years and the gray pair for a year. So I'm going to talk about the black pair since I've had that the longest. And this black pair, I have to say, held up pretty well. There are a few um, wear marks, especially in this top area here, and a little bit at the knee, like nothing major though. Um, they, I mean, they look pretty new like when I wear them I mean the black just faded a little bit in certain sections but I'm sure that you could buy something to like spruce it up and make it look a lot better but um I again the black um I'd say they held up so well the gray again these are literally they look like new there's like hardly any wear on them at all like there's I can't really say I could see any wear except maybe on the tip of the toe and that's like it. I used to, I wore these black ones and I still continue to wear these black ones like so much that um, I mean the amount of wear I put into them and the way they look is incredible. Um, so that speaks volumes about the quality of these shoes that I wore them for so many days especially in fall and winter like all the time. I'm like always putting them over jeans and everything that you know the quality is held up and it's amazing so definitely quality wise they are right on point so really a great quality shoe okay now i want to talk about versatility because these are an investment piece um so you know you want to be able to wear them multiple ways so for me i always like to wear them my classic ways with a sweater and jeans in the fall i just put them over jeans and again the, the, even with the jean on they still um fit perfectly for my calf circumference um so with jeans then i like to also wear them with like shorter mini skirts I think it looks really cute with that again i don't even without them like the jean there i just like my bare leg i don't really notice um any kind of like extra slouchiness or anything without the jean there or a pant so i think that there's so many ways to wear them you can wear them with dresses um again there there's so many different uh ways to wear them they're not like you're just stuck with like a casual outfit or anything i mean they're you could dress them up dress them down they're extremely versatile shoe so next i want to talk about pricing and if it's worth the splurge so these shoes are obviously a big investment piece in your wardrobe they're um they retail for 7.98 so it's definitely a higher price shoe. So it definitely is in the higher price range for shoes. I was kind of like hesitant to buy such an expensive pair of shoes like when I first bought them because I'm like, I hope these hold up. I had like all the same questions that I'm sure a lot of you have. So, so the both times I got them, I got them on some kind of special or sale. So they don't always go on sale. They're not like all the time on sale, but you could definitely, if you, um, you know, find a good sale, you could get them on sale. So like, Sometimes they're 20% off or 25% off or there's a deal that you get a gift card for buying them or whatnot. So I always like to look out for those and um, I will actually list below. I'll try to keep updating it. I'll list below if I find them on sale and that way you guys don't have to like search for them on sale. So I'll definitely um, look around and see if I can find anything and I'll try to keep updating it as um, time goes on. So uh, I definitely think though they are worth the money. Um, I have gotten so much wear out of them, more wear than like a shoe that, you know, you say you pay $100, sometimes I don't even get as much wear. So to me, like, I know it's so much money, but like, to me, I get so much wear out of them. They're so versatile. They hold up so well. I've had the one pair for two, over two years now. So to me, like, you know, you get what you pay for. And I think it's a great investment piece. I really do love these shoes. I think they make a great statement and it makes your outfit so much more eye-catching and just chic and just super cute. So I really love them. Um, yeah, again, I have the gray. This is the slate color. It just depends. They have so many different colors that they come in. I know they're like burgundy and navy and they even come in like velvet. So this is the suede version and I really do love them. Oh, I forgot to mention there's like a little tie on the back and you could adjust that, but I don't really like to touch that too much. I don't really pull it tight or anything. So yeah, that is my review on the Stuart Weitzman Lowland Over the Knee Boots. If you have any questions at all about these boots, I would be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. 
And as I said, all products that I've mentioned or any of my outfit details, as I get questions on that as well as my background details, I list them in the description box below and I'll link the shoes. And as I said, I'll try to find them. If there are any on sale, I will link them below and have like a little sale section. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like um, shoe or bag reviews so I know to keep doing more. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.